on a side, and at least with the loss of him, uh, uh, will do for this team the rest of the season. Yeah, um, you know, again, it's unfortunate the situation with Hassan, but we've played without Hassan for well, 13 and a half games. It was the second game or third game into the. Uh, conference at Georgia Tech when he sustained his injury, so we've had to adjust and play without him. Um, you know, obviously, Joe's getting better with his broken hand. Um, he's getting a little more mobile with it. I think it's feeling better. I don't think he's 100% yet, but hopefully, even as time goes on, it'll feel better and better. And, um, you know, Malcolm, um, right now, to give, give me a day or two and I'll, I'll know a little more about his situation. So, um, we're not planning to have him, but if something changes, I'll, I'll certainly let you know. And we've got our, our seven guys that have played, and that's, um, that's how we finish the year, and that's my plan is how we'll go into it, and that's why we've got to be as good as we can, as healthy as we can, uh, as mentally sound and physically tough uh, to, to push and, and continue to have success. So you don't think Malcolm Brogdon will play in the ACC tournament, and if he does, that's a bonus? Correct. Okay. Uh, Asan said, can you tell me what he did, he, what, what rules he violated? That's, um, I know you're going to, someone's going to ask that, but the, we're just going to move on to the statement we put out is, is as far as we're going to go and move forward. And again, he's, he's part of the team, and again, the consequences are him not playing, but he is part of the team, and um, like I said, it's time to move forward now with that. Is it your hunch that Malcolm Brogdon would be back for the NCAA tournament if available, if you make it? Yeah, that's a um, little... Uh-oh, Rich is stepping in here. <laughs> You're in trouble, look out. <laughs> no. I think so, which is uh, asked to answer the yeah, question. Yeah, no, that, that will, again, I'll, we'll find out here as far as we're waiting to hear some things, and we'll just see how that goes with Malcolm. How tough is it playing with seven guys? Yeah, well, you know, it's, um, it's, it's what we have, and to me that's what makes me appreciate... Um, Again, what they have done, how they've mustered up the resiliency, and and I told them the ability that they lay it on the line every time out. They don't lay down. They just they keep fighting. Again, I said we make errors. We're far from perfect, but but there's something in them that uh, makes them keep going when you know there's not a lot of depth and things like that. And that's that's what makes me proud of of this team and uh, how they've handled um, defections, injuries, all kinds of things, and. That should um, they should feel good about that. But now it's time again to move on. And as we as I said in the, I think it's Act Three of the, uh, of the deal. So how big is it that you have a buy in the ACC tournament since you are shorthanded? Yeah, uh, I think you know for us to get the four seed is, is certainly great, um, and it gives you one more day to rest and prepare and try and improve. So certainly we'll take it. How do you use the extra time? Um, well, extra day for our, yeah, you, you know. give, you know, today was just a film day and then, you know, rest the bodies and then you have three days to prepare for, um, you know, whoever, Boston College or NC State, who you play. So you try to, uh, again, make improvements uh, leading into this game and, and use, you know, you're not going three hours at this stage of the game. You're, you're shorter with your practices uh, and that's, um, that's something you still got to be mindful. Get them as ready and as fresh physically and mentally as possible, but but also prepared. Coach, can you, in your time coaching or just being around the game, I mean, Mike Scott's last two games have to rank up yeah. as some of the most dominant kind of forces of will or just kind of putting a team on his back that, that 